Hello again and glad to be of service. I received my M18A1 antipersonnel, my basically a Claymore, and uh, I thought I'd do a little unboxing with you. Armed with my trusty Stanley knife, we'll cut that open and we'll see what it looks like inside. So we'll just do a little opening, first presentations, first thoughts, and uh, you know, first impressions. Oh, hello. Well, straight up, the box is quite nice, I gotta say. Yeah, how's that? Uh, you know, pretty cool box. Little tray handle, it's interesting. Uh, the box itself, when I first re received it, was actually uh, a lot heavier than I thought. So it's got some weight in there, which is usually so it's good quality. Basic instructions look relatively useful. Okay, in the box you get yourself a little battery. Aha! This is also a cool little ad. This is a remote, so then that way you can set up your claymore anywhere you like and remote detonate. It's a bit obviously plasticky and stuff like that, and a bit large, but I mean, you know, it's not too bad. So it's radio transmitter on that. Uh, oh, okay, underneath here you've got all your bits. So you've got your uh, trip wire for your claymore. And inside the bag, you get gels, charger, uh, that's a little stake to set up the clip. That was a screw that just fell down. Uh, oh, you get a spare little clip as well. And now uh, for the claymore. Ooh, got the weight. Oh, packet. Oh yeah, it's got some weight. All right, I'll get rid of the packaging. Well, there's that. Now, straight off the bot, off the back, it's uh, it's actually got little steel struts on the bottom, so it's good. Uh, no little plastic things that are going to snap off on you. Now, there are extra tying bolts. Now, if this is anything like a real thing, that's your safety. Now, I haven't done one of these before, so we'll see what happens. I'm guessing the battery goes in there for your remote. But you sh I should be able to manually set this off. So, here we go. Okay, there it goes. That's the safety. All right, so that's your pin. You put that in when you're loading up and stuff like that after you load up until you're just about ready to get that ready. So once you've set everything up, then you pull the pin. Otherwise, you're going to cop this in the face. I think this is what's going to happen. Oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse my French. There you go. Uh, wow, that that really shoot. Wow, that's got a lot of tension on that spring, too. Uh, that's going to shoot those balls, man. That's uh, And if you're anywhere near this thing, it's, uh, it's going to pepper you. Um, that's a really hard spring. That's, damn, how do you close this thing now? All right, so yeah, closing it's an issue as well. You got to really, all right. You probably want a, a flat surface to close this up again, and that'd be squeezing those sides down, folding that over, and then pushing that down to load. Now that here locks that up, so it won't pop back open on you. And don't forget your safety pin, otherwise you'll accidentally bump it and spray yourself in the face. And now that's safe again. So yeah, that's uh, not bad at all little thing to hook onto your belt or onto yourself so you can be the whole kamikaze thing <laughs> or if they're corny you know what you can do anyway there it is there's the m1a1 uh, 8a1 anti-personnel mine or claymore uh, gel soft of course um yeah i'll take it for a test fire outside and let you guys know what i think and probably get some footage of that too so there that is uh, hopefully if you're interested in this kind of stuff I'll probably do a couple of other reviews of other accessories for your outfit, for your uniform. All right, guys, you take care, and uh, I'll see you out in the field. Thanks again. Bye.